there's some greasy people in this world. There's some people that you cannot trust at all. You would think that when you locked up, that all you got is yourself, your celly. You, you would think that your cellmate will be your best friend. You would think that you could trust this person that you've been living with in a confinement as big as a bathroom. You would think that you could trust this person that, well, let's just get to the story. There was this guy named Leon. I'm going to tell you all about Leon. Leon was a dirt, dirt bag, a despicable human being. He was locked up for bad charges. What are bad charges? I'm not even going to say what the bad charges is. Just think of the worst thing that you could do to a child. That's what Leon was in there for. What's up, Lisa? I see you. What's up, Lisa? Let me get right, y'all. Hold on. We finna get to it. Just give me a second. Give me a second, all right? Hold up. Hold on. We finna get to it. We are definitely about to get to it. Let me pin this comment. All right, we're going to get to it. So, <clears throat> Leon got bad charges. Leon was locked up for violating a child. Oh, you do? All right, Lisa, you get that sleep. Get that sleep, Lisa. And I appreciate you for stopping in. Get get some rest. Leon had some bad charges. He violated a child. Leon in there doing four years. You got people in there that that's in there for a gun charge that got way more time. I do truly believe that when people violate a child or violate a woman, that they need to minimum get at least 10 years. But hey, the law is the law. They, they only gave them four years. I appreciate that, Lisa. They only gave them four years. You know? Um. Anyway, let's get back to it. So he wasn't a dirt bag and a piece of crap because of his charges. No, he was a dirt bag, a grease ball for how he carried himself. He was the type of guy <clears throat> that we all had to share one microwave. He was the type of guy that would put his food in there and the food would go everywhere. I know everybody, you know, everybody got a microwave. So y'all know when food, you know, jump here and jump there. Have the courtesy. You talk about 30, 40 men in this one pot using one microwave. I mean, clean it out. When you done with it, he was the type of guy that didn't clean up after himself. He the type of guy that really didn't shower. I didn't have to deal with him at all. He was about three cells down from me, so I ain't really tripping. Um, but when he did used to come around me, he just had a bad smell. He just irritated the heck out of me, man. He used to get beat up maybe twice a week just just off gp just because of what everybody knew what he was in there for and um he'd get beat up like twice a week somebody might just have a bad day and go uh and hit him just just for whatever reason right he was the punching bag okay um i remember one time i was sitting down watching the national geographic discovery channel right? And um, he sit right next to me. He irritated me so bad just because of his smell. 
And I just, I just didn't like the dude. I just didn't, he just, his whole aura, his whole vibe just irritated me. Me just even thinking about him right now, I'm getting irritated. So let's move past that. So he sat down next to me and um, I said, yo, could you move a couple of seats down? He like, all right, man, whatever. And then he got up, he scooped down some. So I'm like, all right, whatever, man. So I'm watching TV, and now he's eating some cookies or something, some crackers or some cookies or something, and he's smacking. Now, you have earbuds to listen to the TV. And, of course, I'm not about to have two of them in my ears, so I need to hear if something about to jump off behind me or somebody saying something crazy, and I need to be on alert. So I keep one earbud in and one off. And this one I have off. So um, he's sitting on this side of me, two chairs down, and I can hear him. So I'm irritated. And I'm like, man, everything this dude do, everything that this guy does just irritates me. So I'm like, hey, could you scoot down a little bit more? He's like, come on, man. I, I, I already scooted down enough for you, man. Jeez. So at this point, I'm pissed. So I'm like, you know what? Hey. Just, just go to your room, man. So he he got to talking. He got to saying like, yo. Now, keep in mind, y'all, I'm I'm usually laid back. I don't usually start no problems and no issues and nothing like that. But this day, he just really irritated me, man, from the last time he used the microwave um, and then cleaned up his mess. Him not showering. Him smacking. Him... He just got on my nerves, man. He really did. He just irritated me so bad. So um, now I'm turning up on him. And now I'm yelling at him. Now I'm barking at him. Everybody looking over there like, yo, what? what's going on over there? What? Why D barking on him like that? What? We, we ain't never see him act like that because usually I'm laid back. And I'm just I'm just having a bad day because of this guy. He, he just irritating the hell out of me. So, you know, everybody over there looking like, man, what's going on? People looking over the tear, people coming out the rooms like, yo, why why D acting like that? Why why he barking on him like that? We we ain't never seen him out like that before. Hey, do me a favor, y'all. We got five people in the building. Hit that like button. Four people in the building. My bad. We should at least have four likes. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what to do. Listen, every time y'all come in the building, hit the like button. So I don't have to keep repeating myself. Now we got three people in the building, but that's cool. So he um so he ain't really said nothing back to me. So he like, all right, man, forget it, forget it. So he get up, and he get to go into his room. So I'm like, and if you go to your room and grab something, we gonna have a problem. So everybody like, oh man, hey man, he uh, you know, everybody instigated now. They say, oh, he sent him to his room like he a child. And all this and that, you know how dudes be instigating. Is uh, look when you locked up, man. It ain't nothing but a bunch of teenagers. You got grown men up in here, right? You got grown men up in here. What's up, Di? You got grown men up in here, 30, 40, 50 years old, running around here like they some dang teenagers, y'all. Hit that like button. So then he go to his room, and I'm like, if you come out that room with anything. Anything, I'm putting you to bed. You going to bed. Back in them days, y'all, I used to be in shape. I'm not in shape no more. I, I mean, I could still get out if I got to, you know. But back then, I was cut up, ripped up. It, it was, I, I was nothing to be played with. Right now, I'm kind of out of shape. But like I said, I might have got one or two rounds still left in me. But usually, if I got to get out in the streets now, you know, I'm trying to end it quick. I'm trying to put you to bed fast right hit that like button so i'm like at this point if he come out if he come downstairs with a shank and try to you know cut me or whatever the case may be even though he didn't have it in him he'd be getting beat up twice a week slapped around day in there every every other day so you know just in case <clears throat> if he had it in his mind or had it in his heart that he was gonna come down there and do something to me already let it be known it's 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 up from here what the young kids say today is up is up right is up so it was up <laughs> right <laughs> so he stay in his room 
And you know, after like two minutes, I'm he ain't come back. So I'm like, all right, he ain't gonna do nothing. So other people come on over there and tell me, like, yo, D, what was up with all of that? And I'm like, nothing, man. This this dude, he just irritate me. And then some guy's like, man. You want me to run, run up in there and do something to him? Give me a couple of suits. I'll go beat him up. I'll go slap him up. See, number one, y'all, I didn't indulge in that because still, you know, I don't like bullying. You know, he was in there doing his time just like everybody else. And who am I to um, exact vengeance and justice on him? He had to already deal with the fact that, you know, being a pedophile – label a known pedophile in jail and you know what all comes with that so he was already dealing with that so you know i had the power to just get somebody a bag of suits to go up there and do something dirty to him but why it ain't no point of doing all that you know um so at this point i'm chill now i'm chilling i guess up and i go to my bed and i go in there and go lay down right i did not go to sleep i'm just laying down <clears throat> make sure you know i hear the scuffling noise everybody know when you've been locked up before when you hear that that scuffling noise on the floor you know what that's about we got eight people in the building man we should at least have eight lights come on y'all hit that like button so i know it's a fight going on somewhere because i hear it so usually I mind my business, but right now I'm bored and I hear the noise. So I pop my head up out the cell. Come on, man. Who is this calling? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hello? What's up? Who is this? Oh, what's up? Jermaine from Detroit. Hey, look, I'm live right now. I'm going to call you right back. All right. That's my homeboy Jermaine from Detroit, y'all. I ain't talked to him. Me and him, me and him, we uh used to work together at Amazon driving trucks. Yeah, um, that was my guy. We he from Detroit, and uh, we talked to each other every once in a while. And um, he just called me, but I'm gonna hit him back after this live. But shout out to Jermaine from Detroit, y'all. Hit that like button. We got 12 people in the building. We should have at least 12 likes. Come on, y'all. So I pop, I get up. And I'm bored already. So I get up, being nosy, pop my head up out the cell, and I hear it coming down this way. It ain't it ain't that way. See, this way is where Leon is at, the pedophile. So I know he ain't getting beat up. He ain't in there fighting. Something going on down here. So I'm like, huh, what's going on down here? So you know, I get up, go get my my uh my bucket, because we had an ice machine in there too. So I get my bucket and like I'm about to go get some ice and I'm walking real slow and I just see him. I see two dudes in there that's getting it in, that's fighting. But um, for the investigation, they not in there like fighting, fighting. They just getting a wreck in. We call it wreck. Um, when you ain't got nothing to do and you and your celly basically doing a friendly fight, it, it's not serious. They not punching in the face. They just doing body blows. And whatever, you know, it's it's crazy in there, man. People in there fighting and whatever the case may be. So I'm like, oh, I ain't doing nothing. So I go ahead and go downstairs, give me some ice. And I go back to my room and I lay down. So I'm eating ice cubes, laying on my back, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. I, I was just thinking about something. So I go back in there and I, I go lay down. And, um... I hear you about to get the F up out of here. You about to get the F up out of here. Now, this is coming from Leon's room. And I'm like, well, okay, it's okay. It's, 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 I guess it's, um, turn up tonight, whatever, you know. Um, Leon and his roommate is getting into it. Um, Leon is getting confronted by his roommate because I guess Leon haven't took a shower. And his roommate just came back in there. He telling him, I guess he told him to get in the shower. And, like, and Leon was dragging his feet and not getting up, getting in the shower. I don't know. I know y'all talk about ain't no grown man should be telling no, another grown man and making a grown man go get in the shower, whatever the case may be. But, hey, it is, it is what it is. I don't think y'all understand how small these rooms are, these cells are. You talking about 
no bigger than a regular size bathroom with two bump bags and a sink right here and a sink right here and a toilet right there under the sink. You ain't got that much room in there. And whether dude is at the top bunk or the bottom bunk, you still smell that. So, you know, they're in there arguing and I guess they got the point where he told him, yo, you got to roll out. You got to get out of here. I'm going to put hands on you. So I'm sitting there thinking like, all right, yeah, he it's going to go down. So at this point, everybody listening, you know, everybody being nosy, everybody looking up there, people passing by, seeing what's going on. And next thing you know, you, sit, you start hearing that scuffling noise. Then you start hearing smack noise like that. Um, Leon is in there getting whipped out, getting beat down. I'm talking about when I walked past that cell and looked in there, even though I had no business doing that, but it is what it is. He had Leon. Leon was against like by the toilet. He was against the toilet, like laid down, like boiled up, <clears throat> and dude standing on him like, go get in the shower, go get in the shower, go get in the shower. And he he, he like, man, stop. It ain't nothing, man, stop. You gonna get in the you gonna get in the shower. We got 17 people in the building. Y'all hit that like button. You gonna get in the shower? So he just hit him. Every time Leon do like this, he'll catch him. Bam. Every time, like, he, he just, just catch him. Boom. So now I think, like, oh, okay. I thought somebody was calling me. At this point, y'all hit that like. Come on, y'all hit the like button, man. We got 16 people in the building. Somebody hit the like button. Come on, y'all. So he, so he, so he hitting them. And then it get to the point where he now he grabbing them and just yanking them around the cell like you gonna you gonna get out of here you gonna get out of here you gonna get in the shower. So at this point in time, everybody looking back, everybody looking in there, like two off brand dudes go up in there and be like, "Yo, I do, uh, uh, I got you, OG, I got you, OG." So they start hitting them, start hitting them too. So now it's three on one. They not beating the hell out of them. But they, I'm sorry for cussing y'all. They ain't beating the heck out of them. But they, it's, I think that was just real lame how they came in there. And that kind of made me upset. Like, y'all wouldn't, y'all, the, the two dudes that went in there, they weren't about nothing. They, the only reason, it, it's like, this reminds me of a story. I'm going to do a sidebar right quick. I'm going to get back to it. I remember one day I was in the projects. It was, I think it was a Friday or Saturday night. And it was live out there in the projects. Everybody was out. Um, it was this guy named George. And he, I, I kind of knew him. He was dating one of my sister's friends. And he was he was some lame dude, man. That that he wasn't no gangster, he wasn't no thug, he wasn't nothing, just a nobody just trying, that was just trying to fit in. Um, there was a guy named Twin. It was two twins out there in the projects. I forgot their name, but we called them twins, whatever. Um, next thing you know, George and one of the twins got into it. The twin, uh, one of the twins slapped George. And then this off-brand dude named Black going to walk up to George and smack him too. And I'm like, you wouldn't have done that if dudes just be so whack and lame, it, it it brought me back to that moment when the two dudes went in that cell and started hitting um Leon too. Because I'm like, y'all, y'all dudes not even like that. Y'all probably wouldn't even fight him one on one if it came down to it. Y'all just here trying to do something. So, but I couldn't voice that because it really wasn't my business, but that irritated me too, right? So uh let's get back to it. So then they like, oh gee, oh gee. Not talking to me, talking to um Leon roommate. Oh gee, oh gee, I can take care of that for you. Uh, uh, hitting them like little love taps. I'm like you little punks. So, um, they doing what they doing. Do um his um his roommate just now he just real irritated. So now he throwing his stuff out. He throwing Leon stuff out. He getting this. Aaliyah had like a lot, a lot of letters and stuff from his mama. He got his letters, throwing them out of the cell. Y'all like, where the guards at? Yeah, where is the guards at? So he throwing his stuff out, telling him you gotta go. 
get up on it. You got to go tap out. That's what we call it, the, the tap out. Anybody from Ohio, um, Franklin County, Jackson Pike, y'all know what that is, the tap out. It's when you get to that door, if you can get to that door, and you get to tapping out, you get to banging on that door. Boom, 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 boom. Let me out. Let me out. Boom, 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 boom. They call that the tap out. So he told him, yo, you got to go tap out. So he throwing his stuff out. Leon said, I'm not going nowhere. At this point, Leon crying. At this point, Leon is going through it. Leon like, what did Leon say? He was like, I'm so tired of this. I'm sick of this. I'm going to kill somebody. Y'all ain't going to hear me no more. He just, he, he snapped. So at this point, I'm like, oh, shoot. Leon about to buck up now. Leon about to do something. Uh, at this point, the two lame dudes, they done backed up out the cell. Uh, his roommate steady throwing his stuff out. And it got to the last point where he packing his stuff up, like his toothbrush, his deodorant, and some of his clothes or whatever he had in his bag, in his um, laundry bag that I told y'all about earlier. So he got all that, and he basically trying to throw it over the tier. And Leon grabbing the bag also. He grabbing the bag also, trying to stop him from – um. <clears throat> sorry, he trying to stop him from throwing it over the tier. So as they, oh, I forgot to paint the scene for y'all. We had two tiers. You got the bottom tier, right, where the day room at, where the um, seats at, where the TV at and all that. Then you got the upper tier. The upper tier, you got to go up a flight of stairs, and then there's sales, like 10 sales, no, eight sales going this way. No, I'm lying, y'all. Hold on. It's five sales going that way, five sales going that way, and directly across, maybe, I'm I'm bad at math, but maybe 10 feet, 12, 15 feet, that way, it's the same setup. So we on the second tier, and I'm going to say we maybe, um, like I said, I'm bad at math, but we, I, I'm going to say we 12 feet up in the air, 12 feet up in the air. So they wrestling. Pulling the bag back and forth. One of these lame guys, as them two tussling on the tier, and you can go over the rail, and this is what we, we about to get to. I can still hear the screams, hence the title. He, uh, one of the lame guys, scoop Leon. So imagine uh, his roommate right here, pulling the bag, Leon right here pulling the bag, but against the rail, and the lame guy, one of the losers that was hitting them in the cell, that butt in their business, that had no business in their business, he went over there and lifted him up off his feet and, and dunked him over. It's going to get crazy. If there are any kids in the building, leave right now. All right, let's go. So, Hey, hold on, y'all. Is anybody in the building? Am I still live? I don't see nobody writing nothing in the comment section. Who all in the building? Am I still live? Am I still am I talking to myself? Hold up. Did the comment section freeze or something? Is y'all still there? Is y'all bored? Huh? Is y'all is y'all asleep? Okay. Okay. 410 Kane, G Money, I see you. All right, we we still here. So he dumped him over. He forced head first. Splat. He hit his head. Mind yours. Integrity minded. All right. He hit his head. Head first. He goes straight down. Bam. I'm going to tell y'all something, right? I never, he didn't crack his head. Well, I don't know if he cracked his skull, but I didn't see no blood. But I'm going to tell y'all, it's going to get real graphic. Dude was like shaking, like, like shaking uncontrollably. Maybe he had a seizure. I don't know. He got the foaming out the mouth. His tongue was out of his mouth. His eyes was rolling in the back of his head. And he was making like this, like, it, it, I don't know, man. It was like a, it, it, uh, like a, um, 
embody. I you hear him screaming, but it was muffled. It it was weird, man. It was like y'all know I don't like to cuss, but he fucked him up. He fucked him up bad. Like screaming, but muffling like a. Integrity. I see you said brain damage. I'm. A, I'm a. Um. He. He was like a week later. I seen him a week later after he got out of the hospital. But at that point in time, he was fucked up, bad. I'm talking about he was just shaking, like his whole body was like, like seizing up. Phone, eyes rolling in the back of his head. I thought that man was going to die. That right then and there, and, 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 and that's why I tell you all something, especially you, you young guys, you young guys, right? You, you could stop committing crimes because you could, I got so many stories that I can tell y'all that. It's so many warning stories that um, I done seen a guy get his teeth knocked out and lock in a sock. Y'all want to hear that story? I done seen a guy get his teeth knocked out with a lock in a sock. But we're going to get into the lock in a sock in a minute. That's another story. We're going to get to that in a minute. Let me finish this one up. So he down is shaking season up everybody just looking like this was jackson pike this was jackson pike in franklin county this wasn't in prison this this was a count this is a county story it's a jail story it's not a prison story it's a county story so he season up foaming at the mouth everybody looking it's quiet nobody's calling for help it's dudes man it's so many grimy people in there and heartless dudes in there you you hear guys saying and like i said uh ohio it's happened in ohio you got dudes saying fuck him let him die he deserved to die fuck him like real heartless dudes man heartless you know <laughs> there's heartless dudes um i ain't gonna lie the way i was feeling I'm like, yo, somebody help him. I, I'm a softy. I, I'm, 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 at heart, I'm really am a softy. I'm, I'm really am a softy. Um, you know, I get down if I got to get down. You know, I push the knife if I gotta push the knife. I, I would never want to do that. The times that I had to do that, I had to do it. It, it was no choice. It's, it, it was either push the knife or get the knife pushed on me. And you can see my face. You don't see no, no buck fifties, no cuts, none of that. I have been cut before in a fight. I got cut on my arm. I'll show y'all one day. It's just a little scratch. Well, it's a you can tell it's a it was a knife wound, but you know I got hit with the blade before. But I mean, low key, like I said, I'm like this. If I, I'm not the bully type, I'm the laid back type. I don't go out searching for issues. I don't go out searching for problems. They usually just it just happens, right? If dude died, the other guy would have had another charge. Yeah, he would have had a murder charge. Period. Yeah, he would have got a murder charge. He would have, I don't know what dumb and dumber was in there for it. That's what I should have called them, dumb and dumber. I don't know what dumb and dumber was in there for, but um, whatever it is, um, they probably was maximum four, five years. I don't know, but they would have got hit with a life piece or at least 20, 25 years on top of that. That's why I say you got to mind your business. Mind your business. He had no business touching that man at all. I don't know what he was trying to get some clout, some brownie points, whatever. I, I don't know. He got 28 people in the building. Somebody hit that like button. If you hate, if you haven't hit that like button, hit the like button. Y'all wonder why I keep asking y'all to hit the like button. Y'all got to hit the like button so they can push this video out. 
YouTube do not push my videos for some odd reason. But when y'all hit that like button, it pushes pushes um my video out to the algorithm to let people know that I'm live. So that's why I keep asking y'all to hit that like button. So let's get back to it. So uh, eventually the guards come, pick him up. Well, they didn't pick the guards didn't pick him up. Um, a nurse came in there and some ET, 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 whatever person that worked on people, some type of medical staff came in there. They ended up putting him on a stretcher, a stretcher. I'm getting tongue tied, y'all. Sorry. Hold up. Get some of this Mountain Dew. Hold on. EMT. Thank you, 41, um, 410K. So they, they go up in there and they pick him up. Lock down. <clears throat> lock down. Lock down. Everybody, go to lock. Get to your rooms right now. They ain't have to tell me twice. I knew what time it was. They was going to come in there with that spray gun. And I told y'all I had bad asthma. I couldn't afford to get hit with that spray, with that mace. So I, I knew what time it was. I got I been got up out of it out of my cell. Locked down, locked down. Yeah, luckily his neck didn't break. So he... um. So they get him up out of there. Uh, the sergeant come in there. You know, the sergeant, they come in there. They got the white shirts. So we call them white shirts. They sergeant come in there. He make an announcement. Somebody seen something. And, and oh, yeah, cameras didn't work. Go figures. The cameras didn't work. And we knew the cameras didn't work. So the sergeant come in there with his chest all out with the canine dog. I know somebody seen something. If I run the camera back and I count and I catch whoever did it, y'all going to the hole forever and you get an attempted murder charge. So come on with it. Come on, come forth with it right now. Don't make me waste my time. So we all already know that he BS because we know these cameras didn't work. Because if them cameras work, never mind. I ain't gonna put that out there. If them cameras worked. A lot of us would have been had a whole bunch of institutional charges already. So we already know he bluffing. But this is the um, prisoner's code of conduct, no telling, right? So ain't nobody saying nothing. So for our punishment, we was locked down for a whole week. What, what do that look like? Y'all are not coming out your cell. Y'all not getting on the phone. Y'all not getting regular food. Y'all getting these thick bread, thick, dry um, Texas toast bread with this thick bologna. Right? That's it. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There y'all go. So y'all want to be tough? You, you damn convicts. You damn felons. You damn animals. Y'all ain't seen nothing? I got you. I got you. Good thing you didn't get hit with the spray. Some at Rikers got hit with the spray with asthma. They left him for hours and he died. Yeah. Hey, listen. G Money. G Money. Listen to me. Somebody asked me, was I ever afraid when I was locked up? And this is what I said. I was always afraid that if I got maced, see, they had this chair. If you was unruly, they would mace you, put you in this chair with your hands behind your back, have your face, your, your neck elevated like this and put a, a spit back over your face. And you can aspirate, you can die, you suffocating. That was my biggest fear. And to keep it real with y'all, if I didn't have asthma and had that fear, because the, the first thing I said, I wasn't afraid. When I got locked up, I didn't care about the uh, the inmates. We fight every day in the hood. A fight ain't nothing. A, a knife fight ain't nothing. 
right? So I wasn't afraid of the inmates. I wasn't afraid of the guards. In my personality, I'm just laid back. And if a, it, and if an issue arise, then I got to handle it. It is what it is. But outside of that, I'm not no troublemaker, right? I'm not in here turning up. I'm in here relaxing, chilling, doing my thing, right? But that was my biggest, worstest fear because I knew that right there could take me out. Even when our pod did get maced, I'm going to tell you all what I used to do. When, 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 when people was out there fighting and acting a fool and went and locked down and, and our doors was jammed and we couldn't get in and they came in there to whoop our ass, this is what I would do. I would go get a towel, a, a, dry, a dry off towel, wet it up, wet up the wet the towel. This is this is a, this is a hack for you people that got asthma. Okay, I got this towel and I wrapped it around me, a wet cold towel, wrap it around my face and stuff like that. That was like a breathing mask for me. Preston Scott, what's up? Colorado, what's up? So the time that I did get mace, because everybody was getting mace, go get you a wet towel, and 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 just that's all you can do at that point. So yeah, that was the only thing that I feared while locked up was was dying um by suffocation by getting um mace and put in some type of restraint that I couldn't get out of. Because believe it, people die every day. People people a lot of them guards is dirty. A lot of them guards is dirty. It was something that I wanted to talk to y'all about also. Um, what was it? I tell, I said I was going to tell, tell y'all another story about something. I can't even think about what What was it? Um, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But um, I got to make a couple of more videos. Um, I'm about to shout y'all out. Y'all know how I do it at the end of the lives. I call roll call. And what is roll call? Y'all, um, I shout everybody out. Oh, lock in the sock. Got you, G Money. Shout out to G Money. Shout out to G Money. Hey, you, everybody, y'all better thank G Money because I'm about to end the live. Y'all thank G Money. The lock in the sock when he got his teeth knocked out of his mouth. You know when I say you got to mind your business? Right, and don't be in there gossiping. Well, here you go. You got a guy. Number one, number one, cell phones are illegal. Yet people do get cell phones while locked up. We all know that. Y'all see it on YouTube of dudes um showing people in jail, people doing TikToks, all that. You get caught with a cell phone, it's over five years. Five years. You get caught with that cell phone five years, right? Some of these cell phones going for a thousand dollars, twenty five hundred. Um, I had two cell phones. I'm not gonna tell y'all how I got it. I'm not gonna tell y'all who I gave it to, but I used to rent out my cell phone. It'll be fifty dollars for two hours. But that's a whole number story I'm gonna make for y'all another day. But let's get to this story. So you got this guy. He's talking to his wife every night on the phone. Every night on the phone. He I, he paid he he pays me fifty dollars a night to use one of my cell phones. His roommate was jealous. He wanted to get on. He wanted to use the phone. He had tell he had, he had, he had asked him like, "Hey, bro, could you text uh my girl and tell her I said I love you or good night?" He he. You know, interrupting his bunkie. Uh, his bunkie would be like, "Man, um, no, I ain't doing that. I pay for this, this, that, that, this, whatever, whatever." I guess a couple nights, and 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 I'm blowing through this story. I'm, I'm blowing through this story. A couple nights, um, same spill. He like, yo, if you um, yeah, five years, five years, if you get caught with a cell phone. So he like, and I'm gonna tell y'all why. We we'll get to that story. Uh, I'll tell y'all why you you will get five years of having a cell phone. But so um, sorry y'all hit that like button. He um, so this would go on for a couple of nights. I let him use the phone. He be talking to his wife. 
his bunkie be like, yo, could you could you text my girl and tell her I, I love you or whatever? Dude be like, no, nah, man, um, pay your fee so you can use the phone, whatever the case may be. Um, dude that I was giving the phone to <coughs> was getting into it with his girl, from what I heard. Um, next thing you know, um, his bunkie was out telling people in a pod his business because he right under him. He he out there telling people his business. And it got to a point where, and like I said, I'm not saying no names, and I'm not even going to tell y'all the location because what was said, the business that he was telling was real private personal business, and it was hurtful of, of what was what they was talking about. His wife could not have kids, right? Um, she thought before dude, I guess dude, um, dude just got locked up or whatever the case may be. The the girl was two months pregnant. His wife was two months pregnant when he got locked up. She ended up losing the baby, right? It messed him up. They've been trying. They've been trying. They've been trying. Finally, she get pregnant. He get locked up. She two months in. Um. She ended up having a miscarriage. They talking about it. Dude, his bunkie, running his mouth to people. It got back to him. I'm just making. I'm just making a long story short, y'all. It got back to him. Dude got his combination lock, put it in the sock, wrapped it up. We was down there eating breakfast. He come up to him. Dude didn't even see it coming. He looked at him. Bam! All this gone. All that gone. All that gone. Not what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Missing. Teeth gone. The whistle. Right? Knocked all his teeth out of his mouth. I will get graphic with y'all, but like I said, I got to roll out in a minute. Um, next thing you know, I mean, that's the whole point what I'm trying to tell y'all. Um, anything can happen to you. Anything. Anything can happen to you while locked up. He had no business button in that man's business, especially repeating this man's conversation, especially how personal that conversation was. And for him to go out there and tell people when it got back to him, it's a big no-no. Don't don't be buttoning people's business when you locked up, man. My business. All right, y'all. We about to do roll call now. What roll call is, y'all, um, Tell me where y'all from, and I'm going to shout y'all out. Then we're going to roll out. So we're going to get to it, okay? What real man would even discuss in my business like that? Hey, integrity minded, let me tell you something. Dudes, you you would think that men don't gossip. Men gossip way worse than women when locked up. Believe me. Come on, y'all. Let's do roll call. We got 999-999 till I die. From Jamaica. All right. Who else up in here? We got my man G Money, the G Code from Queens, New York. Come on, y'all. Who else up in here? This roll call, y'all. We about to roll out. We got my man Integrity, Integrity Mining from, um, I know I'm about to mess this up, man. Rayleigh, North Carolina. Is it Riley? Riley, North Carolina. Shout out to my man Integrity Minded. From Raleigh, North Carolina. Who else up in here, y'all? We got my man, AK, AK47 Brown, straight from Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. What's that? Casting over two times? Brooklyn. I'm so Brooklyn, right? Who else up in here? We got um 410 Kane, 410 Kane in the building from B More, y'all. What's that? Baltimore? All right. We got um Squares 19 from Augusta, Georgia, y'all. We got the South in the building. We got Surreal Spill from Raleigh, North Carolina. So we got two people. As I'm saying that right, Raleigh, North Carolina, Integrity, and um, and Surreal Spill. As I'm saying that right, we got Divert Taylor from Columbia, South Carolina. Hey, hey, I got a jail story for you, um, um, Divert Taylor. Have you ever heard of, this is a very small town. If you blink, you will pass the downtown. It's called Camden, South Carolina. I was in a jail too. 
I'll tell y'all about that one day too. Um, who else up in here? Caddis, Caddis from Florida. What's up? Um, we got my man DeAndre Cox all the way from North Carolina. There's New Bern, North Carolina. Um, who else up in here? We got the Bert Taylor from the 803. Okay. That's it, y'all. Who else up in here? The hero, have you ever fell victim? Fell victim of what? Yo, this roll call, y'all. I'm about to roll out. Is y'all done? All right. I'm rolling out, y'all. Um, y'all check out these last videos that I uploaded. I go live every day at 9 p.m. Every day I go live at 9 p.m. Um, <clears throat> if for some reason I don't get to go live at 9 because I got caught up doing something, I will drop a video, at least one video a day. So y'all ain't ever got to worry about missing a video. I always will upload a video every day. And I try to go live every day at 9 p.m. or 8 p.m. But if I don't go live, it's guaranteed that a video will be dropped. So know that. Who else up in here? I've been in the sick in the hospital all summer, but I'm going to Baltimore next summer for some seafood. Hey, I love hey, I love crab legs. Juice Man, Lancaster, South Carolina. A prison romance. What are you talking about? Who is that? Ira Dows, what you talking about prison romance? Joss Banina, Banana, Joss Banali. I'm sorry, man. I, I'm, I'm tearing your name up. Straight from San Francisco. What's up? Hold on. I'm trying to. Who, who is this dude right here? Um, Era Dacos. You talking about prison romance? What are you talking about? I don't know. What are you talking about? Prison romance? What? What are you? Are you asking me? Was I romantically involved with somebody in prison? What are you? What are you talking about? Anyway, y'all, I'm about to roll up out of here. Y'all be safe. Like I said, every day I'm going live at 9 p.m. If I can't go live at 9 p.m., um, every day a video will be dropped, and that's just what it is. All right, y'all. Y'all be safe. I'm out.